Hello there and welcome back. So I'm back again with another video which is very interesting and it's all about web components. So you might be using several JavaScript frameworks which now support components, right? Reusable components. But do you know from where they have originated? The pure JavaScript web components. So in this video, I will be showing you from where everything started and how you can also create your own custom web component without installing Angular, React, Vue, or Next.js or Remix, any of the uh, CSR or SSR framework. You can do that job by just pure JavaScript, the vanilla JavaScript. Let's get started. If you are new to the video, I'm Siddharth Verma, an uh, experienced developer into front-end, back-end, mobile apps development, and many much more things. Please definitely subscribe to the channel. It takes a lot of hard work and please share the video, like the video if you really found it interesting for your career. Let's get started. So over here, if you see, I have a VS code setup being opened. And now in here, I will be creating a new file, which is going to be, for example, I'm going to create, first of all, an index.html file. Now, as soon as I write HTML, I can click on this HTML file and I have everything ready. So in the title, let me say it web component. And in here, we are going to um, create a button, a web component, a button component in here. Or, uh, yeah, a button component. Let's save this thing. Uh, and it's going to be equal finders button example. So if this is fine, now we can fire this file. So in here, we can uh, copy the path. And then we can uh, have a incognito tab. And in here, let's quickly place this file. Okay. And for this purpose, I will be um, stretching this site like this. And in here, once this is fine, I will be now grabbing my VS code. And then I will be shifting the VS code with this setup. That's really good. Cool. Now, uh, yeah, uh, this is my uh path and the path is now being here good now this html this is my main file where i'm going to show you how you can also create your own custom component now for that we need a pure javascript file and for now i will be taking for example cf button component because we are going to create a create finders button so this is the name i have used is cf button.js now, whatever I'm doing in here can also be done in TypeScript. And if you want to see everything in TypeScript, do mention in the comment section below or do mention me on your DM. I'm having my Instagram, my Telegram channel, everything is available. So there also you can mention me without no problem. Now in here, uh, if you already know that JavaScript now supports classes, so we are going to create a class and the class name, you can keep any name. I am using CF button as my class. And like this, we will just be declaring our class but as you already know we are creating something custom so only this setup won't help us much so in here you need to extend something and that something is going to be an html element now if i hover over the html element you can see that any html element some elements directly implement this interface while other implement it via an interface that inherits it Okay, now this HTML element contains all the information regarding this button. And now what I can do is I can quickly register my button using the inbuilt feature, which is known as custom elements. Now this custom elements help us to register our component. How? Let's see. If you click, if you add a period here, you get three options, the get, the upgrade and the define. For this demo, for this guide, I'm using the define method and in the define method. Now you need to tell Two things. First of all, the tag name, and the second thing is going to be the class name, what class you're declaring. So uh, the second was attach the second and the name what we have given over here, let's attach it something like this. Great. And now it needs a name. So the name would be, and yeah, remember, you cannot, cannot provide a name just in a single word. The word should be separated by a dash. Why? Because HTML already has some tags which are defined in with single word. For example, a tag is for href input is for inputs like that so many things are there and to be secure to be totally secure for future html restricts you to provide a single word element that's why you need something like this so cf button for example this so anyhow anyhow in future if i'm using my custom web component i will be using it something like this cf button something like this okay 
cool. Now, in here, in here, I need to do something. But before doing it, let me show you one thing. If I go, my, go to my HTML in here, now uh, I can just uh, uh, link my script file like this, scripts, uh, and the type is text JavaScript. And the source for the file is in here, cfbutton.js. And now you are allowed to use cf-button, just like this. Now, in order to show you something, I will be using the constructor. And in the constructor, I will be simply doing a console.log. And I will be using, I will be showing you something, create finders, button custom component, something like this, custom component. And when I hit save and do a reload, if I just do inspect, let me just bring this towards here. If I go to the console, now you can see that it says, create finders button custom component. That means my button was evoked. That's really good. And that's how you create your first uh, custom component. But in here, we have a reference error that must call super constructor in a derived class before accessing this or returning from a derived uh, constructor at new CF button. Don't worry, we are going to look this really soon. But this means that whenever, whenever there's a rule in object oriented programming, whenever you're doing some extents and that, that class, that class utilizes a constructor, you need to call the super. So let's fix the super call like this. And now let's hit save. If you do a reload, then if you see everything is fine, that means our class is now working as expected. This is how we create this thing. Now, you need to now understand few of the important things. Here we have already created something to the DOM. Okay, we have already created something to the DOM, but right now we need to have a button. We need something which can display that okay this is a button this is component because right now this indicates that it's a custom component and this kind of syntax we have mostly used with angular view react and uh, next different different frameworks we have used these kind of custom components now let me just remove this console log or let me just comment this for your personal um, references in the future but right now but right now what i really want to do is I want to suppose provide this. Now, in a in a in a class, in a JavaScript class, this operator points to the points to this entire class. And because you have extended HTML element, then this will also consist of all the properties, all the properties of the DOM. For example, if I do this dot, you can see that I have all the properties of the DOM. And I can also do this dot style dot. Uh, you can do anything. You can do uh, something like this dot style dot background. Okay, and you can set it to, for example, red. Okay, right now, nothing will happen because we do not have anything right now. But soon, this all will make sense. Trust me. Now, this activity won't work right now. But before, before I want to make you understand one important key concept that whenever you are going to create any web component, do understand that uh, as compared to all the frameworks, we have seen that there are some certain life cycles. That means this thing should also have some life cycle like whenever you evoke this class, it has a lifecycle method, which is known as connected callback. Connected call, sorry, call back. And inside this connected callback, you need to, you need to now say, okay, whenever, whenever this class is called, inside this function, you need to address what exactly you need to do. For example, I want to create a button and the button can be created. For me, the button can be created by using a document. So I can do document.create element. And in here, I can create an element known as button. Perfect. Now, once the button is in here, I can do button dot, button dot text content. And I can add a text content to the button. And the text content can be anything. It can be anything. Whatever, whatever you want to do, it can be anything. For example, I do subscribe. Subscribe to create finder, something like this. Okay. And now this makes our button complete. But, but again, there is one more catch. This button needs to get attached somewhere. This button, you need to attach this button somewhere. How? Because if you see in here, just writing this much won't work, right? This won't work. You need to attach this button to the DOM. And how you do it? Let's see. Now, if you remember, previously I told you that whenever you extend some HTML element, at that moment, you get the entire reference of the DOM. So that means that if you want to get the reference, you can simply write to console log this, and this will really help you to understand what happens. So this means this, this, 
this component this entire class that's what i'm trying to explain you okay so now what simply you need to do is you can grab this and you can do append child that means i want to append a child with this element this custom element and that append child is going to be this button so if i click save you can see that now i have this button subscribe to create finders and it's all custom that means i can use i can use this component as many times as possible this is really a reusable component but i never ever installed any kind of framework for this this is pure thing and based on these concepts based on this foundation all the frameworks are developed so if you know the basics if you know how things work you can also try to create your own framework or your own ui library this should motivate you this should motivate you now let me show you one more thing um, in here you can also design your uh, button so button dot style dot background is equal to red so if i hit save and if you do a reload you can see this thing it applies now let me give more styles button dot style dot color is equal to white button dot style dot suppose padding should be equal to suppose 1.5 vm button dot border is equal to none button dot style dot border dot style dot border radius is equal to suppose uh, 8 pixels let's save this file and now you can see that it works right uh, uh, just a side note you can also decrease the padding and yeah it, it shall now work properly okay and i can also add some margin so button dot style dot margin can give it a margin of suppose 5 pixels from all ends uh, so it now has a margin as well and uh, if you want to attach some events that's also possible Okay, that's also possible. But I am um, um, good to see that till now you guys are understanding. And if you have any problem, if you have any problem, any doubts how to how we can uh, attach some events or how we can uh, get this thing to a next level or what is Shadow DOM, what is um, Light DOM, all those examples can also be explained. Now this is just a demo purpose how web components work. If you want an exact a, a good a complete web components web components from basics to advanced course, do mention me in the comment section below. And if I get a good amount of requests, I will be creating an entire uh, project with your beginners to advanced concepts in web components. So this is how I have created this component. And I've also shown you how you can just grab some stuff like this. Now, the last thing what I need to show you in this course and which will be really interesting and which will satisfy you that, yeah, this is working like a real component. That, and that is that what if I could provide something like this, a different label from outside the wall, right? This is a real, then this can be a real um, a custom reusable component, right? So let me show you how you can do it. For example, I do uh, create finders, for example, subscribe. I can do uh, create finders, notify. I can do create finders courses and create finders socials. And now I want this label to be captured from uh, from uh, from this attribute from this uh, uh, attribute, and then I can use it inside in here. That's really possible. All you need to do is you can do something like this dot get attribute something like this, and you can now get the attribute, and the attribute is label. So I can do something like this. If if I get the label, I can use it. Otherwise, it will be default. So if I do a uh, reload, you can see that. And now if I use this component without any label it will have the by default thing okay so this is how you can create your own web components i hope this video was easy to understand and it really helped you to understand that yeah whatever you do nowadays with different frameworks the same thing the same thing is achievable by vanilla javascript but the key thing to notice this is the foundation on what everything is built up so this was pretty much it regarding this video thanks for watching i hope you liked the video if you like please leave a like please leave a comment and i will see you in the next one Peace.